and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as uh, Four Kids at One Four Seven, and this is my last Easy Whim kit. Um, now it's a bit delayed, not because they delayed posting it, um, but because of the building works that I've had going on. Um, but this is my August kit. Yes. August kit and um, this I did choose would to be my last one and um, only because I have enough diamond paintings to do um, I wanted to purchase this kit for a period of time just to show people what is out there um, and what some of the options are so I chose to do it for a minimum of three months but I did just decide to stick with the three months as I say it's not against the company in any way but I have loads of diamond paintings to do um, and I have loads of projects to do so while this kit club is fun I don't need it long term so just to remind people um, if they've not seen my unboxing of this one before I chose for um, so you get different options I chose for their most basic so their cheapest um kit it still works out at nearly 40 pounds but you basically get um i think you get two 30 by 40 diamond paintings you get something else diamond painting e and then you get something that's completely different a completely different type of craft i think that's what it worked out at. um say so it's their basic kit out of the options they do one that is purely diamond painting and then they do stuff that you get more and bigger paintings with i also chose the option to have square diamonds so you can choose square or round depending on what's your preference um, i think you can choose to mix it up as well and um, they then have a series of styles that you can choose from so you can choose dragons and fairies abstract I think you can choose cartoon, um, etc. So anyway, I chose one of my options was abstract and the second option I chose random. So I could get anything. Um, and you can actually choose to have both random if you just want it to be a complete surprise or you can pick something, you know, that is more your interest. So anyway, let's have a look at what they've given us today oh and this is a bit different and i've got something that's duplicated again <laughs> sweet okay so i have got what looks like an extra painting so i have some toolkits so they do send quite a nice toolkit as far as toolkits go and um, they send it with the white tray which is slightly nicer they send a grip with the pen and they send the metal tweezers um, so I've actually got two, well it looks like two sets of those. Um, I've got a diamond painting that looks like it's poured glue. I'm not sure whether it's a round or a square canvas. I've got my diamonds for my other canvas. Oh, I've got some washi tape. So maybe that's what they've classed as the other craft this time. Is the washi tape? I don't know. Okay, then I've got two paintings and then they've sent an owl jewellery box. Now, if anybody recognises this, I recently picked this um, to be sent from another seller and I've recently completed it. So I've now got two, um, which again, isn't their fault, but if you aren't somebody that either shops or gets gifted stuff from other sellers, um, on a regular basis then you won't end up with this crossover um, but it comes with a basic toolkit and then all the diamonds needed to do this owl on top of the jewellery box so say so these are fairly recent and fairly new it's not it wasn't that long ago that I unboxed it so they are in fact I think if I'd have opened this when it arrived I may not have ordered uh the one of these that i did anyway it's definitely not their fault um so you get a jewelry box so let me have a look what it says so autumn august box of diamond painting and craft goodness 
So you get an exclusive hand painted designed features a tiger in its natural habitat, which is this. Um, a new summer addition to our DP collection, which is the jewellery box, which is true because I haven't seen that very often. Um, you get colourful washi tape to put around the borders of your painting, which is that cats. I've got one that's got cats, one that's got flowers and one that's got cupcakes. Will it focus? Come on. I don't think it wants to focus. Focus on that. There we go. So I've got cats. They always seem to include cats. Okay, focus down here now, camera. Um, yeah, and we hope you enjoy it. And then it says something about please look forward to your September box. But as I say, I have chosen not to do the September. Come on, camera. What is it playing at? Autofocus is on, but it's not doing it. Anyway, um, so yeah, we've got the toolkits. We've got the two paintings. So let's have a look. We've had a look at the jewellery box and the washi tape. Let's have a look at what this is. So it says it's 30 by 40, but they've just included an extra diamond painting. Looks like they might have. Is it square or is it round? Okay, it's square. The canvas is folded weirdly, like it was rolled round, but then it's not. Um, and it's a picture of a tiger. So, not awful. Um, it has a bit of a different type of tray. It has one of these green flat trays. I've only had them a couple of times before. Uh, wax, a pink pen, and more basic tweezers rather than the nice metal ones. Um, but it is poured glue, this one, rather than being um, double-sided tape, which the, they normally are. So that is a Tiger in 30 by 40. Um, let me find my tape measure. So is this a true drill size of 30 by 40? Oh, and it is, which isn't normal with poured glue but it is an actual drill area of 30 by 40. It's poured glue, it's square, um, and it actually has 30 colors in it, which do come with DMC numbers. So that's quite nice. Um, comes with bags that are labeled, one, two, and three, but oh, there we go. Look, I don't even need to unpack it and you can see all the colors. So it looks like it will be quite a nice, bright and vivid diamond painting so that's quite nice um so yeah for the month of august you get more diamond paintings so let's have a look okay i don't know if random was the best option for me to choose but i didn't know what else to choose and i figured it gives you variety but i seem to have now got a picture of a dog so we've gone from cats to dogs that's not bad because i got out of the three months, two months of it had a cat in it. Which, I'm not against people having cats. I'm just allergic to them, so they're not for me. <laughs> but, I'm seeing if I can find the tape rather than having to cut it. There we go. Okay. Let me just get all this shrink back out of the way. Otherwise, it's just going to keep sticking to me. So, for this one, it is this orientation, but it looks like a little dog in the snow. I don't know if he's skiing. Maybe he's skiing. Let's see if we can get in it. Oh, here we go. We get the... Oh. Okay, my inventory sheet is actually stuck to the canvas. That's a good start. Okay, there we go. I've managed to get it off. And the picture on there is not much bigger. But it is a dog skiing. So we have an image. I don't even know if that's going to focus again. I don't want to be telling my camera what to do the whole time. That's why I have autofocus. Okay, so it's a dog skiing. Um, it does have 30 colours. 
So, come on, focus on the table. There we go. Uh, it does come on a foam roller, but it is sticky further down. Uh, back of the canvas looks good. So I am getting ruffles, but that's because it was very tightly wrapped see if we can have a look at what the image looks like plus also flatten it out a little bit their adhesive seems to have gone down in quality a little bit I know this is sort of the sheeting that many companies use but it's very it's very tacky and bitty very much so okay See if we can get it to go down. Oh, he's quite cute though, isn't he? And to be fair, they're cute. I might be allergic, but they're cute. Okay. Try to see if I can get it to further down before I flatten it back up. There's quite a bit of overhang, so the washi tape will come in useful here. Um, but yeah, there's the image. All the symbols look very clear. Uh, they do use white on top of black and it does look like they use letters numbers and only a few symbols but one's a diamond one's a hashtag and one's the and symbol so very clear and sort of easy to say in your head while you're placing diamonds down which is always good so let me get that end and then let's see if we can just have a look at what's at the bottom of it have a look at his feet but yeah, as I'm pulling this up at the bottom, it's sort of, yeah, it's just, it just doesn't seem as nice a quality. The glue is very tacky and stretchy. Yeah. Okay. And there's the bottom of his feet with his, with his little sticks. They probably have a very fancy name, but I don't ski. Um, colours do look a bit more off here, but of course when you actually put the colours on from the diamond painting, it tends to look very different. So this one is 3653. Three. So that is this selection of colours. Again, the colours are bagged up in the same way, so they've got bags with numbers on. But to show you the sort of colour palette that we've got in this one, it's a bit more muted, but still very nice. Quite a lot of nice blue, I'm guessing that's the sky. But yeah, quite a few nice colours in that one. And then, I'm guessing this will be my abstract one, because the dog does not look abstract. I'm just putting that out there. He is not an abstract dog. So, I haven't got my craft knife handy. It's moved out my craft room and I'm not sure where it's gone. So let me see if I can just nick the tape so that I can get it unraveled. There we go. And this one, you see I had that problem last month where it didn't reach all the way over. Um, it's not going to stop me sticking any diamonds on it, but it seems to have done it the same this month. Quality is just just not quite at the same standard as the first one was. But for a variety of items, if you like a surprise and something a little bit different, in general, it's pretty good. So, get the foam roller out. And this one too has 30 colours and this is probably the nicest image that I've been sent in the whole three months. In my opinion anyway, because it is a matter of opinion. But this is sunflowers with like a swirls and stuff in the background. I like that one. Okay, so let's see if I can get in this. This one is a landscape rather than a portrait. So did that show it as a portrait? No it didn't, it's me. 
Okay, so it is only that side that it seems to be a little bit lacking in the adhesive department. So let's see if we can get in this one. Say so again, 30 colours is actually using exactly the same symbols, though there is, of course, different colours assigned to those symbols. So if you were just hand drawing the symbols, then you'd probably be all right. Okay. I am still going to be able to stick a diamond on that one, but it's a bit disappointed they've not sorted out that quality control. But that is a nice image. So we've got two sunflowers, two big sunflowers. And then I think I'm just going to pull it from the other side in the getting it flattened out stage. Just so that I hopefully do not end up ripping this top paper. It's sort of really stuck to the diamond painting on the other one. It's not as bad on this one. And then we have sort of the swirly look on the other side. There we go. You see what I mean by the swirls? You can probably see the image clearer on this than you can on the, the picture itself. But yeah, I like that one. That I do. Um, and for this one, the number is 3651. So that is these diamonds. And again, it's more muted, but that's the colours that we've got in this one. So yeah, Easy Win Kit for August includes three diamond paintings. One is poured glue, um, but they are all square. Um, some washi tape and a jewellery box. So not bad, as I say, to get a selection of paintings delivered to your door um, for you to do. Especially if you know you've you've not got many diamond paintings in your stash. Um, I don't think I'd say I'd never do this again. I think I just I personally have enough diamond paintings to be doing at the moment. Um, all comes in a very nice sturdy box as well. So if you do want to just keep it in that box, you can. Um, but yeah, that was my kit for August. Um, it did turn up in plenty of time, as I say, because I've had building works. I've not got to get this video up, but I thought I'd um, let you know, really. Um, easy whim kit, done it for three months. There's probably one of the pictures that I would have bought anyway. Um, I have had a couple of the sort of diamond painting extra items that I have already had. In fact, I had it in my first box and in this box. Um, that can only be a sign that I would have liked it um, if it had not have been that I'd already got it. Um, and that is in no way the company's fault. Um, that's, that's definitely me and the way I shop, but hey, I like to keep picking, picking up weird and wonderful things to show you guys that are a little bit different, just so that you know what's out there. Um, but yeah, overall, I think it's been a pretty good experience. Um, if you are quite new to diamond painting or don't have a big stash, you know, and just enjoy the process then yeah, the, the kit club is really good. You know, I say you can hone down um, your choices. I did choose random um, on purpose to show you sort of what sort of variety is out there. Um, and then I did choose abstracts because that's probably, you know, something I wouldn't be as bothered about what the image was um, if they hadn't have sent me a cat in the first one. But <clears throat> yeah, give give this kit club a go. Say if any of that criteria sort of meets you. Um, I'm not going to be doing it any further, but that's only as I say because I already have enough um, diamond paintings to get on with. If this had been maybe a year or so ago, I probably would have kept it up for a bit longer, um, just to give me you know more of a variety of diamond paintings, but. Yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.